We are getting reports of unrest all over Lothal. There are whispers from Mustafa. Some people see the Empire as weak, vulnerable. Not to worry, Agent Callus. The Emperor has sent an alternative solution. Right, um, sorry for the um, Rebels audio spoiler. Um, like I said, it did warn you in the description if you didn't want to hear it. And that alternative is the Hot Toys Imperial Stormtrooper. Yes, not overpriced from Hong Kong, but direct from Sideshow Collectibles themselves. Um, I will say, however, that even with a $20 coupon, um, this guy was 275 um, Australian. Um, it is, so without the code, it would have probably been about 300 310 um, because the $20 code is about $30 um, Australian. So, um, yes, please do wait until Australian retail gets them. Um, I've got a two-pack coming through Amanda Bridgehouse. Um, this is obviously NMA Exchange. Um, pretty good price for the two-pack. I think it was um, a solid straight on 500 um, for the two. This guy here is obviously just the single. Um, pretty cool packaging. Um, very similar to Sideshows, but it's pretty cool. Um, I really like the image on the front there. Um, and the single is, I think it was 260 Australian retail. Might even be less than that now. Um, I'm not too sure. I'll put the NMA um, exchange link in the description. Um, you guys haven't ordered already. So yeah, let's take a look at him. I'll just say that um, we do get the insert like we do with a lot of um, the hot toys these days. Um, I probably would have preferred, I don't know, it's just seeing the type of stuff that hot toys have been doing. For instance, the Guardians of the Galaxy boxes where the um, insides were the jail cell. Um, I would have preferred the inside to be the door to the blockade runner. Um, Perhaps, and it would have made a nice little, nice little cardboard display up from there. But um, yeah, no, it's a nice image. Um, it says stormtrooper, in, the, in his number, so the um, 267 MMS. All right, um, let's get this guy out. And holy crap, is this guy impressive? Um, you can see. Uh, the shine coming off um, the figure as the camera pans over to him, um, which is awesome. Right, and um, yeah, I've holstered the E11, and he's holding the pistol. Um, I was I was so glad that the pistol um, was included um, in the set because it was the it was the exclusive item um, that Sideshows came with and I miss out, missed out on that exclusive item and the pistol s generally sells for a lot on eBay. Um, the belt is removable. Um, it's got the great detail there on the midsection. Um, all those detailed bits. Um, his articulation is really good also. Now the instructions uh, warn you that none of the armor is removable, etc. Um, but I'm going to. It says not to take the helmet off, but as we know with the um, Shadow Trooper, the helmet does come off. Because I was actually going to um, take the helmet off, and I'll put a picture of this up on the page later. Um, I was going to take the helmet off and put the Shadow Trooper pauldron on him. 
um, as a little homage to Rebels. Um, you've seen the finale, um, spoiler alert, um, Tarkin has his own reinforcement of stormtroopers that wear the standard stormtroopers of the Black Pauldron. Um, and because I'm getting the two pack, um, I'm going to put the pauldron on this guy. So I know that he was the guy that came out of the um, single pack. Yeah. Um, I haven't done a comparison yet, and I will probably um, say something about it on the Facebook page. Um, from what I've seen, this guy is the exact same height as the Sideshow Trooper, as the Hot Toy Shadow Trooper was the same height as well. So this guy is a standard height figure, and the guy you get in the two-pack is taller. Um, so I'm assuming that the short trooper is actually a normal-sized trooper, and the tall trooper is just tall. Um, so yeah, if that makes sense. But um, obviously I won't be able to prove that until the two-packs show up in Australia, um, which I said... I am well and truly waiting for Australian retail for that, as I think last time I checked it, it was up to, oh, I think it was it was somewhere close to 600 Australian, and you can buy it for 500 from Anime Exchange, like I said. So, um, yeah, not the US, definitely not the idea for these guys. Um, the display stand itself, I don't know how well this is going to show up. Um, this part here is a bit... Um, so there are sections where it's um, the paint's been chipped away. Um, obviously that would occur if people were walking across it or it might be battle damage or whatever. Um, one cool thing about these stands is that the cradle does disassemble and you can um, just peg it back in. I accidentally pulled it out when I was um, adjusting the cradle and then um, the instructions quickly showed me that um, you can do that. So yeah, um, like I said, amazing detail. Um, I will post probably a very short video, um, if not just photos, of the two um, the Sideshow and the Hot Toys Trooper standing side by side. But, um, but yeah, this guy is amazing and I'm so glad I ordered him. Um, the reason why I went with two is because, um, and it's a bit like, you guys know I collect all the clone troopers and whatnot, um, and any chance to get a stormtrooper is freaking amazing, um, especially one that's painted so well, like the, the shine. Um, and the pistol. So I figured that um, because I could just afford it, I um, went for one single and then the two pack. Um, so I'll have two normal sized troopers and then the one tall guy. Um, yeah, so this guy is well worth the wait. Um, and yeah. Hopefully he comes out over here um, real soon for you guys who are um, still waiting for yours. Um, I'll just show that that um, the backing is quite detailed there. Um, that shine continues through. He has seven hands all up. Um, and there's the thermal detonator. The holster is magnetic and it holds the E11 quite nicely. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, this was the this was the special reveal that I um, put up earlier in the day.